Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Desiree and today is episode 3 of Real to Reacts To and I'm so excited because I get to do my favorites, Never Cease to Make Me Laugh, Rylan and Shane, their new house tour from like I think 3 months ago. I did see their old home that I know got infested with rats unfortunately but it only led to a something positive where they got to buy the house that I, honestly I think that they need to be living in. Like I have them in such a high pedestal of how amazing they are that their old home I was like why are they living there? Like in my mind they're just so big that I felt that they needed a big house to match them as Aww. people. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. <laughs> right. Okay, well I guess, let's go. All right, you guys, uh, here we are in the middle of nowhere, California, which is honestly like so beautiful. This is our front yard and oh my God. So, oh, okay, well I can't wait to, you have your robe on, Shane. Him. I'm so happy for them. <laughs> okay, do you want to let the dogs out? Do you want to show them where we're going to live? Could Should I skip ahead? This so no shade for the other house. It was still a beautiful house, but again, I I just feel like they deserved something like this. Look at all this space. Look at all the like landscaping and yard and look at the fur babies just like roaming around exploring like they have their own private forest. Um, is exactly what I believe that they needed and deserved. You could put like 10 houses on that. <laughs> Or you could put a bouncy house <laughs> in the world of Shane Ryland. <laughs> we could get a dunk tank, we could get JoJo Seawalk to perform, we could have a stage, we could do a mini, a mini JoJo. So run. there was a house like at the very back of the lot. I don't know if that was like a guest house or like a pool house vibe or what that was, but hopefully we get to see it. I love homes that kind of have those second like yeah, in-law suites or pool time, homes, time, back houses, it's yeah. kind of to give someone the opportunity to have someone live there, like part of your team, or to like rent it out, Airbnb it, investment opportunity, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, you can have someone with you without kind of being, kind of like invading your space if like you wanted an in-law situation to happen. Those are always the best scenarios. Okay, okay, come on guys. Wait, wait, stop. Hi. So I'm Wait, go he's ahead. not even running that far from me. So we can see more house. The other side of the farm area is our little actual backyard pool area. Area slash fireplace. So they still have a pool. And then up there is our fireplace. Honey's running. <laughs> Hi. Are you so happy I'm glad this is where you're gonna pool. live? Oh my Something god! Wait, we haven't even got the keys. Other we gotta go find the keys. Pool. Oh yeah, that's right. So I have the car completely packed full with the first round of stuff. But before we start unloading the car, I thought we should show you like a little bit of an empty house tour. We filmed to like actually go through ourselves and like have a moment and stuff, and then I started sweating because I couldn't find the. So it looks like it's a Mediterranean slash contemporary modern fusion. Um, I don't think it's Spanish style, just because like their lines are too round. I mean the lines are the lines are too square, and Spanish style is a lot more round. Um, but it could just be a fusion because of the square straight lines. A lot of the like mid-century modern designs are very linear lines, and it has like the essence of Mediterranean, but still like oh, see, we have some gray, we have some marble, we have all of that going on. So it's for sure infused. I think I think it's Mediterranean modern architecture. <laughs> Love the floors. The lighter the floors. The more, the harder to clean, but the lighter everything is, the bigger. And oh, look at that kitchen! Look at the kitchen. Do you guys remember the old house? It was very like narrow, and this is just like mother kitchen. And usually, like I mentioned in my other videos, you have that contrast between two. But this one has light cabinets, light backsplash, light countertops, and it just like there's still texture because of the lines of the subway tile and the design of the uh, marble on the countertops 
so they're still textured to kind of like contrast them without having to contrast the color the fact that it's all light i love that it makes it look bigger right look at this living room the ceilings are to the heavens we should get a trampoline oh my god and a foam pit like that is some tall whoa that is like two-story ceilings oh my god team 10 they're gone right or we're taking over i don't know we are team 10 like for this situation so, you can get some custom curtains so made from like to be, the very uh, top to the very bottom they that. don't sell them like that Which you'd have to custom make it but it would just draw your good. eyes like the darkest room all the, the way up <laughs> uh, and you would just leave them open you would just like literally be uh, curtains can work as an arrow to like make you look at the ceilings because when everything's kind of designed lower you kind of forget to look up and really appreciate those tall ceilings so i hope they do that okay so this is the guest like main floor bathroom what i love most look about it is like this fish this still time, which i think is so neat i call it the it screams character and who has more character than shane and rylan to be honest nobody <laughs> I this love gate, the, the like it's rooms it's rooms so here. appropriate for Shane and Ryland. Oh, my office is right over here. Fish scale so this is gonna be where Look at the doors, so it's just tall. Like, it's, I have two really cute little like white. It's one thing to have a big house, but to have a house that kind of like goes big this way. This is gonna be like right. Morgan's room slash like our guest room. This is the I'm kind of house like that I needed to see the movie in from when I first started watching. I did not understand the small house for the. So you can tell this is like a guest bathroom because it kind of doesn't like oh my gosh, there's my no hair looks awful. I mean, look at there. It's kind of like Shame. creamer vibe, which still matches the floors. So, this, do you want to tell them about this? But there's no fish okay. scales, there's so no gray. So this room, um, there's no wall in there. It's not like a wall anymore. The guest bathroom. And the nice. reason is because my dream my whole life has been to have a movie theater in my house. I know it sounds stupid, but it's just something I wanted because I was like, damn, I never thought it would happen. So now I think I'm going to make it happen. I think we just have to knock this wall down and then I'm gonna have like the stadium seating in this room, you know, like the boom, 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 with like the recliners like that are in the theater with like little, like little tables with your like food and like all of that and it's not actually that. So I love that Shane is talking about like knocking down a wall, so turning it into a movie theater, so, no, et cetera, et cetera, yeah, really like all these like plans. The it's just so exciting to see house. someone that's purchased something that they actually love and appreciate and just like their vision and their plans and their goals. It's so exciting for like me as a realtor to see for other people. Those are the positive things about owning your home you can kind of like do whatever the heck you want this whole like it kind of adds character to have built-ins but like hey if it doesn't work with the plans then bye i know that with movie theaters like if you're doing it like the legitimate way they have to have it has to be the right room for the right acoustics and all of that stuff um but i know shane just literally just trying to make his home his and that's all that matters and we have a whole concession <laughs> And by if you yourself decide to like knock down a wall um, and make a room bigger, it could be more marketable if you have rooms that are smaller. But it it could also be less marketable if someone's looking to have an extra room. But the good thing about having that kind of situation is like putting up and putting putting up a wall is a lot easier and cheaper than to take it down because you have to make sure like the support beams and all of that technical stuff is aligned before you just take down a wall. <laughs> they already love the house so much. Over here is just so let's see where we're going to next. Ooh, so the cobblestone floor kind of goes into Oh, so the, he's always like that. I had to get rid of this house house. Like, literally, like the floor. He's always like the Spanish style slash Mediterranean style. Because Spanish of. Like, all of it. Oh, see. Why I love the last house. And now we have it again. That's his style. Okay. So, and that design is. I think even, it, they brought it into the garage and the patio area for the house. <laughs> It's also nice because our dogs are really afraid of a lot of stairs. And for some reason, these ones, they're not. And I can see that going up the stairs in this house is a lot easier than that little round loft style staircase that they had in their old house. And look at this master bedroom. Like, 
I could just stay here all the time. Small house to me. I already bought it. Thank you, because they are going to drag me about that. <laughs> no, this this is master is, is amazing. Oh, no, I, I think they have like three fireplaces. Well, this is the first time I live with somebody where we like got it together. This is That's the type of master bedroom where you can have the bedroom and like a living sectional like, ne like next to the fireplace like James's house where you can have the bed and the couch it's that big here because we like watching YouTube in bed what the little balcony area <gasps> now so that's cool, and then cool it to have like a patio where you can see out into the bel the patio have a balcony that looks out into the patio to see who's oh. there. Like if you're having a party, you're like toasting so from the patio. Also show you like as we're Very decorating. Cool. But over this way is our closet, which I've been dreaming about having like a big closet. Honestly, my entire life. So there's both oh, sides. I see walk-in closet. Utilize, I see walk-in like, closet. This much of the closet. I'm gonna get this. A nice. drawer for socks. I know that they don't really need a huge walk-in closet, like maybe Jeffrey Star. Um, because Shane doesn't like care about that kind of stuff, but it's nice to have a walk-in closet that's just like. I'll show you guys like more. I kind of wish that these closets had the, those clear doors, um, so you can still see everything, but it kind of just like contains all of your clothes, so it doesn't like overspill, etc. Installed, which I don't know if you can try one of these, but it is life-changing. There's no like wiping involved. Touch. I can't use it because I have a fissure with the cut inside of my butt, and if water sprays at it too hard, it'll open it more. Yeah, we thought it was a hemorrhoid, but it turns out it's a fissure. Yeah, if you have a pain in your butt... I have yet to use one of those toilets. Any other one? Okay. TMI. If you have pain in your butt... Ooh, you look at the light. The, for two years. the, the, the mirror... The, the mirror above the vanity has days. lights. Chronic. That's every girl's dream, to have those yeah. lights. <laughs> A lit mirror. Over like, this way like, is everything honestly, easier. Oh, I mean, we've never really had like a tub tub, which is fun. The standalone tub, tub very nice. <laughs> Look at the backsplash in that tub. standing shower. Like it's very, like very artistic. Side of our mirror you so have the fish scales in the one bathroom. You have like these art, like artsy vibe I mean, backsplash. We have like different sides that are far apart, so I like. It kind of looks like color, but it still plays into the Spanish style because of the earth tones. It's very like. It's like crystals, Joey, stop waking. <laughs> it's crystals mixed with like... It's almost like inspired by sh by seashells. So from, okay, again, from like the mirror. Ooh, I want this side. Can I have this side? I don't use things. Now that's a view from one bathroom. But then the view is like down onto the pool. You can look down into the pool from your bathroom. Why not? And you can see the entire, I want to see that back house. <laughs> That's What's like in the there? The majority of the house. I'm gonna start bringing some of the stuff from the car. The floor is just stays the same all the way through. Like and that's how it's supposed place. to be. Oh my gosh, and then moving day is tomorrow. Um, well, <laughs> well, um, yeah, she's crazy. It's so what I love about over here too though, these doors they open all the way, so it's like an indoor outdoor. Now this is like a true oh my entertainment gosh, area I forgot about this. compared to the, oh, the other house. Yeah, and it's actually, I think they installed it new. It was just oh, kind of like a section. Too. That is so funny. Yeah. So this is like a little bar area outside. She's like, hi, Jane, how you doing? I am ready for this. Here you go. Um, well, just pretend. Come on. I'm going in the budget after the house. We're going to have to get a cute little uh, dining table for outside over there. And then, do you want to show them the fireplace? If we're going to have to do it later, we should come back the view at the, of the house at night. What an upgrade and a well-deserving, appropriate upgrade for them because they are like the YouTubers. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know who else's home you want me to react to and subscribe. And until next time, bye bye. I, and I used to be Eeyore, and then I met you. Now I'm Pooh. That's it. Sure.